Hey everyone, I'm Lisa Milan and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited today guys because I managed to drag my better half with me today. He doesn't like this type of stuff, so I had to do a lot of bribing, but he's here and we're gonna answer some of your questions. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> How did you meet? Well, we met in Miami at Live on a Sunday, like a church. Um, <laughs> but that's the truth. We met in a nightclub called Live in Miami on a Sunday. We did, that is the truth? Yeah. Okay. Well done, babe. <laughs> Was it love at first sight? No. <laughs> but we do love each other. We love each other for bits now, but it wasn't love at first sight. Does no. that exist? Is that a real thing? I don't know if love at first sight is a real thing. Well, lust at first sight. I like that. Lust at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> lust in live. Lust in live. <laughs> Who said I love you first? Oh my God, it's almost 10 years ago. I can't remember. I think you said I love you first. Nah, definitely you. Really? Yeah, it sounds more like me. Yeah. Maybe I did, but is that bad that we don't remember? <laughs> I think girls usually remember these things and um, I don't remember. But I'm gonna say me. Yeah, I'm gonna say me. What do you love most about each other? What do you love most about me? Uh, there's a, a huge long list of things that I love about you, but the main things are you're an amazing mom, you're an amazing wife, you're beautiful, you're classy, Aww. you're loyal, you're funny, <laughs> you're my best friend. Thank you. That's a good list for today. That's a good list for today. <laughs> okay, what do I love most about you? I think, well, I don't think, I know for sure. I love that you're such a great dad. You are you. the best father in the world. I mean, for somebody like me, I didn't really grow up with my dad. And one thing that I really, really wanted for my children is to have an amazing dad. And you've surpassed every single expectation and beyond. Oh, thank you. And uh, you're a great husband. And you're kind, you're sweet. Everyone who knows him loves him. I mean, literally, in his office building, down to the janitors, everybody. You treat everybody equally. And you're such a good human being. Thank you. And I think that's what I love most about you. Okay, Deal, I'll do another episode with you. <laughs> <laughs> do you want more kids? No. no. <laughs> I love my kids, but yeah. three is enough. Three is enough. You know, it's, it's a question that we get asked all the time, and it's usually by people who have no kids. Mm. You know, three is a lot of kids, you know. And When's we, the next one coming? When are you going to have the girl? Yeah. He doesn't make girls, by the way. Let me just make that clear. I don't think it's possible. He doesn't make girls. And if you know, <laughs> the, the man decides the gender of the baby. And he does not make girls. So... Yeah, I, I think I'm a king. you are a king, and and we and I birth kings. <laughs> so yeah, I think I think we're really blessed. We're really thankful, but I think we're done. We're done. Yeah. And I pray God bless other people who are unable to have kids. I pray to God that God blesses them with kids because kids are amazing. They are. Yeah. Is Lisa the first black woman you ever dated? Then what's the difference? First black girl you ever dated? Dated, yeah. Oh, TMI, TMI, oh my God. What's the difference, Rich? Uh, uh, no real deal. Oh, I guess the main difference would be um, the hair, you, your interchangeable hair. Inter you know what, cut, cut! Interchangeable hair, really? Yeah, you know, we could just chop it and change it and, and it's like Lego. My hair always looks fabulous, It's like okay? playing with Lego, it's oh, cool. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Any difference? Real difference? The real difference is that the, your cooking tastes much better. Okay. Wait, we do add seasoning. Your, your cooking tastes much yeah. better. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're so crazy. If there was ever an issue due to race, is there an open line of communication? Yeah, I think most definitely. There, I don't think an issue, per se, within our relationship, within our marriage, um, or our families, thank God, because I know some people in interracial relationships 
sometimes the families get involved and there's problems, but we're really fortunate that there's no race issue within our marriage. But there have been times for sure where, you know, especially with the whole Black Lives Matter movement, where I feel I've had to really explain to you why people are out protesting, what this really means to us. You know, and um, but I don't think an issue per se, but we definitely have these conversations and we think it's very important and really healthy for me to hear his perspective and for him to hear my perspective. It's a learning curve for both of us, right? And I think it's, it's actually really good because we get to, you know, share each other's views. We yeah. get to, and because we love each other and respect each other, we actually are open-minded and we listen and we take it on board and we give it thought, we reflect on it. Yeah. You know, and we come back and, and try and see it from the other person's point of view and definitely. perspective. Definitely, definitely. I think when you have mixed race kids, you have to do that because mm -hmm. you, you have to be able to give them those answers and that kind of balanced view. Uh, well. Absolutely, because you don't want other people. Really? Sorry. Did you just take your phone in the middle of my thing? <laughs> oh my God. It might be funny, babe. Ah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> well, that's your answer, guys. <laughs> did you watch College Hill? Did you watch College Hill? College Hill, yeah, I did. <laughs> you're plastic, you're plastic, you're plastic, you're plastic, you're plastic. <laughs> oh my God. Bang. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> that's my favorite show. Okay. That's my favorite reality TV mm -hmm. show of all time. What's your favorite and most annoying thing about each other? annoying thing yes oh, i got a list here somewhere <laughs> on my phone. um i think my favorite thing about you is your heart okay and my most annoying thing about you would have to be your snoring you snore a lot yeah okay and you my favorite thing about you is that you always get what you want i love the fact that you're driven <laughs> you are and i mean that in a nice way yeah you know what i think you always get what you want mm -hmm. You always, you're very ambitious, you're very strong. Oh, thank you. I really like that about you. Thank you. Um, most annoying thing is you're just like a tiny bit bossy. Me? Yeah. Bossy? Yeah. You don't believe that. I'm not bossy yeah. at all. <laughs> How has the lockdown impacted your relationship? You made us stronger. I think um, so, you know. It made me really happy to get back to the office eventually. But, but <laughs> you know what, stronger. I feel, I always tell my husband, you know, three kids is a lot, I'm so tired, the kids are driving me crazy, but I think he always thought I was making it up or, or I was exaggerating, and him having to be home. Found out that you were massively exaggerating, it's easy, so easy. What? No, <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he finally realized. I mean, you were dying to get back to the office. I couldn't even get back to my office. I had to stay home and work from home with the kids, do distance learning. It was a lot, but I feel like it actually made us stronger, for sure. It did, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it was good. I think it was good for everybody to reprioritize, yeah, reflect things know. that were important before. Lost all of that. Things that you thought were bye bye Birkins. Were worth worrying about. <laughs> just not worth worrying about. No, not Health at all. Is wealth. Health, Health is, is wealth. wealth. Health is wealth. Can you do each other's accent? British and Jamaican. You go first. One jo one. <laughs> Me want Louis Vuitton. Oh my God! I remember when you did that, <laughs> and it went viral. <laughs> okay, my best British accent. I'm from London, London, England, and um, in it, in it. <laughs> Tips to keeping a healthy marriage? Wow. Don't let your wife boss you around too much. <laughs> Make sure you have a date night at least once a week. Oh, yeah. You have to spend, when you have kids especially, you have to spend time together. You have to prioritize. You have to have that time to, re to actually remind each other that you're still best mates, that yeah. you know, you're still husband and wife, got Definitely. have some fun, uh, you know, at least once a week. Definitely, and I think communication, communication is key. Even when it's a tough topic or something that you don't feel comfortable talking about, believe me, just talking to your partner, open communication is 
it makes all the difference in the world. And, and I having, think having the same goals, moving in the same direction helps. Definitely. Right? We're lucky because we want the same things. Yeah. We have the same goals, the yeah. same desires. We 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 kind of we move in the in the same, same direction. Yeah, for sure. If, if you're pulling in two different directions, that's a problem. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for joining me. You're very welcome. It's I good to take you for the cider. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, I have, wait, where's our shakes? Guys, you have to wait for these shakes. They are amazing. Wow, Thank guys, you. how yeah. awesome are these shakes? Oh That's my nice. goodness. And I love this because it's so pink and girly. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love these things. I see why the boys want to come here. Are you kidding? Every Friday. Mm. This is so amazing. Mm. Ah. That's nice. Yeah. Subscribe to my wife's channel.